let's go ahead and talk Major League Baseball real quick. All right. Um, and, and I know that you don't know a ton about this, but I'll give you the rundown. This is Jeff Passan's article on ESPN, uh, originally posted last night and then was updated today. And let's see, there's no real way to uh, to shorten this, so I'm, I'm going to give you the the whole thing, okay? All right. uh, Major League Baseball and its players increasingly focused on a plan that could allow them to start the season as early as May and has the support of high-ranking federal public health officials who believe the league can safely operate amid the coronavirus pandemic, sources told ESPN. Though the plan has a number of potential stumbling blocks, it has emerged above other options as the likeliest to work and has been embraced by MLB and the MLB Players Association leadership who are buoyed by the possibility of baseball's return and the backing of federal officials, sources said. The plan, sources said, would dictate that all 30 teams play games at stadiums with no fans in the Phoenix area, including the Arizona Diamondbacks, Chase Field, 10 spring training facilities, and perhaps other nearby fields. Players, coaching staffs, and other essential personnel would be sequestered at local hotels where they would live in relative isolation and travel only to and from the stadium, sources said. Federal officials at the CDC, uh, as well as the National Institutes of Health, have been supportive of a plan that would adhere to strict isolation, promote social distancing, and allow MLB to become the first professional sport to return. Now, that was the initial report. Um, Along with this, MLB issued a statement Tuesday saying that while the one-location plan has been discussed, quote, we have not settled on that option or developed a detailed plan. Uh, MLB has been actively considering numerous contingency plans that would allow play to commence once the public health situation has improved to the point that it is safe to do so, the MLB statement said. While we have discussed the idea of staging games at one location as one potential option, we have not settled on that option or developed a detailed plan. While we continue to interact regularly with the government and public health officials, we have not sought or received approval of any plan from federal, state, and local officials or the Players Association. The health and safety of our employees, players, fans, and the public at large are paramount, and we are not ready at this time to endorse any particular format for staging games in light of the rapidly changing public health situation caused by the coronavirus. Now, uh, let me go ahead and jump in on the comments. Uh, Michael Fritch said, Chris, you got that new Brady Bucks jersey. Don't see the difference in their new, uh, new uniforms. Thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, there wasn't, a, there wasn't a big difference in the uniforms on that. Uh, Tim said, I dislike baseball, uh, but I would watch batting practice right now and bet on it. Um, yeah, I think that's the yep. point here is everybody wants live sports. Everybody wants something to get their mind Real off of the tangible. Other- yes. Like, so we've talked about this a couple of times and it keeps brought, being brought up. Do you think the players would go for it? Would they want to be isolated like this? And you know what? Right now, these guys are isolated just like we are. Now, the boat they're stuck in, a lot nicer than the boats we're stuck in. Yes. But, but if you could tell them you got to live in a hotel room, which they're used to living in hotel rooms for months at a time, which is nothing new to them, and they get to get back to a routine, a semblance of something that they're used to, what they do for a living every day, go out and play baseball. You don't make it to that level without having a love for the game. I don't think there's any way on earth somebody turns into a prima donna and says, I'm not leaving my family. I'm not going and staying in the hotel room in the middle of nowhere, Arizona. I, I absolutely think this is the best sport for it because these guys grew up doing it. Anybody who had to work their way through any type of minor league system knows this is no big deal. And and I think they have the least amount of prima donnas out of all the the big three major sports. And and I think this can work. I I, I, I agree. said it before and I and I'll say it again. As long as you can make sure everybody there doesn't have this thing, I don't think it can magically appear. I I'm I'm with you on that. Uh the idea of staying, you know, sequestered from everybody else, and the only place that you get to go is to the ballpark for four and a half or five months, seems insane to me. Um, because I'm thinking about all of the, like, I'm fine staying at the house. It is the issue of, I can't just run to the store, like, without making sure I'm fully prepared and I've got hand sanitizer and whatever else, What right? would be different like, if you were in a hotel room by yourself? I can, or with teammates, I can, with friends? I, it, 
like not right this second, but in the past, I would have been able to leave the hotel room. Like that's that's the issue here is you're talking about locking these guys up for four to five months with no outside interaction other than a phone, which is what most people are doing right now anyway. I don't think I don't think they're locked up. Like if they wanted to go outside, they could go outside the hotel because it's all them. And that's you know? yeah, I don't like when I'm they not go to the that ballpark, they're, stuck, they're gonna like, get to go at least they would get to go do something. Right now, if you went to Olive Branch City Park and you tried to play baseball with your kid, which too little, but anyway, yeah. Like at the end of the day, like they're gonna they're gonna find you and throw you out of there yeah. or lock you up if you refuse to leave. True. So, you know, they at least get to do that. Right now, honest question. And and it might be different for you than it is for me. So this is a fair question, throwing that out there. Right now, if you had the option to take four or five of your best buddies and everybody has their own hotel room, but we're all stuck in a hotel, or you're now stuck in this house with your family that you've been for the last month, and you get to make that's your other option, but you get to leave and go play the sport that you play for a living, which would you rather take? I, well, I mean, you know the answer to this. But I know my answer. Uh, yeah, I, and and my answer would be the same as yours. I'm out of here. I'm but, out of here. I'm uh, out of here. I'm going jump in on these on these comments. Stephen Gardner jumped in. He said live sports, uh, and then he put a whole bunch of emojis. Tim Crosby asked, "Will the MLB players get their regular pay?" Uh, that is what they are trying to do. Uh, yeah. and so long as they have if their they television don't play contract, the games, nobody's getting paid regular money, right? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's not going to happen can get if full they don't contracts play. without getting played. Exactly. Uh, Let's see. Huey jumped in. He said boredom will set in. Uh, Michael Fritch then said, uh, Chris, I bet there are more MLB players that would pass on the scenario than you'd think. He said NHL, on the other hand, should start back up. Um, And then Steven said, can we have a live cornhole social distance tournament? That's, uh, I mean, you can't really do that with that. (laughs) You'd have to be in person. But either way, I'd, I'd watch cornhole right now for sure on ESPN. Good gracious. Uh, as far as like, I think that there are a lot of Major League Baseball players that would that would pass on this. Um, I I don't. There are some. I, I just don't. That would be fine with it. There are some, however, that are family guys that would want to be with their family. Um, you, you're saying that as if they haven't been with their families for since nearly October a month of now. last year. Well, since, no, because they'd already know, gone to uh, they'd already gone to spring training and they'd already done you know a lot of that. They went to spring training for two weeks. It's, hey, this is a different point that Matt brought up. He just said they have to bring in some women occasionally. Like, oh well, that's gonna <laughs> listen. You know that's gonna happen. Oh yeah, like, the MLB's not gonna publicize that, but that's gonna happen. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's in Arizona. It's fairly close to Nevada, where it's at least legal. So you know, no, think. nobody cares about that. Listen, listen, that's not. What, nobody's worried about that. I'm worried about it. My God, come on, man! No, nobody, oh, nobody else is, Gary. You're the only one. <laughs> I, I do you, doubt that. Do you that. think? Do you I think? Do you think that. somebody will find marijuana in Arizona? Because that's illegal oh, there. A hundred percent. Okay, illegal. then why are we having the oh, conversation no, about? The other I, thing? I thought you were talking like, about nobody's worried about uh, uh, about the women. I'm like, yes, oh, absolutely. No, They're worried about, about the nobody's women. worried about it being legal. That's, oh no, at that no, nobody cares about no. that. No, I'm just saying no. it's, it's it's in Nevada. There's a plethora of them in Nevada. I assure you, there's a plethora of them everywhere. There are two universities right now not in not not in Arizona session. State for sure. Yeah. Okay. That that are not in session. <laughs> there's a lot of talent. I can't out there believe we're having around. this discussion right now. Steven jumped think in. It's more he said likely than not. Up. Like I guarantee you, I I just think I I can't see these guys who are good family guys not wanting to go to work. It doesn't mean that you hate your family. It doesn't mean that no. you don't want to be with your family. It means you want to get your paycheck. Time, during football season, during baseball season, you're not with them anyway. This is a 162 game sport where you go out on three and four week road trips at a time. And even when you are at home, you are still having to be at the ballpark at you, you know yes. whatever time in the you're you're not home you're, doing you're home dad for stuff. Hours a week, not days a week. Yeah. Hours a week. So this is part of like normally right now in this time in April they wouldn't be home anyway. No, you're so, right. You're right. So I don't know how it's any different except the fact that right now, when they're at home now, they're just like us. They can go to the grocery store. That's it. I, I will say this. The, and they're sitting the, in a really nice house and they probably have a really nice pool and, and all that. Okay, that's yeah. great. But at some point in time, you've done that for years. And True. now you just want to play ball again. 
Uh, Michael jumped in. He said, what happens during quarantine league baseball stays there. Yeah, that's yeah, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Steven Gardner said whiskey. Cheers to that, of course. Uh, look, at my, my biggest issue, I've never had a problem with staying at home, right? Never had a problem with that. My biggest issue right now is that I have to stay home, right? That's it. A lot that's of times, always the I, difference. I would rather stay home than go out in my old age, right? Uh, I, I do like you and I both. We went to watch that fight. We've gone out. We've, you know, whatever. We have yeah. gone out to bars. We've gone out and enjoyed ourselves. But given the choice, the majority of the time, we would rather sit at home. Oh, oh yes. However, yes. now but, that we but it's have to. the fact to, that I can't stay at home. Right. And when I want to leave to get a break, so if I'm home three, four days straight, at some point in time, I got to get out of here. All right? But now I got to get out of here, and I got nowhere to go. Yeah. I got that's, nothing that's the I issue. can do. I can't break this mold. But there, if you're quarantined with a hundred other guys, the only problem that I would have in this is if if guys start start getting into fights because you're not going to have enough hotel rooms yeah. for every team to have their own room, hotel, which means you know you you got problems with another player on another team, you could find that guy now. That guy's not yeah. not hiding from anybody. Well, I'll you, tell you, you this: probably, they won't be throwing at people the way they thought they would. No, you'd probably have to like you'd have to rotate guys in and out of hotels, right? No, like it, there's no way to rotate. What are you talking no, ro- about? Rotate, no. because it, like these, not every player is going to have room to stay in their own room. You're going to have to rotate guys into, hey, this week you're with these guys. and this week, Nope, I, nope. Big money guys going to get their own room. The broke folks are going to be staying. You're talking about staying at the spring Four guys place. to a room. Absolutely, that's how it's going to happen. Man, I don't know. Uh, Matt. The Days in in Arizona is going to be hosting the the poor kids from the same team. So yeah. so everybody from the Red Sox won't be staying in the Red Sox, okay? That's okay. Right. You, I Chris got Sale you. will have his own room, or J.D. Martinez will have his own room, and a bunch of call-up guys, everybody in the bullpen that sucks, they're all going to bunk together you yeah. know, at, at a cheap hotel because you're not worth the money we're paying you now. Matt jumped in. He said they'd have to pay the taxes in whatever state they play in. It could make their financials a mess. Uh, uh, the legal figure yeah, all that. They'll out. figure all that. Right out. now, they're just trying to play. Yeah, Michael jumped in. He said it would be just like playing ball in college with dorms. Yep. Uh, yeah, no pretty much. Different. Yeah, he's no no different. And so, so let's give a a last thought on this. I think it's a little crazy. Uh, I do think it could work. I would love to see it work. Uh, and I'm guessing you are uh, a little bit different in that uh, you don't think it's crazy in that it 100% would work. Crazy. At some point in time, we've talked about this. You have to be flexible during this thing. If you want life as normal, then retire. Then yeah. just quit, okay? And if you want your paycheck, But you if you want to go get do. paid and you want to go to work and you want to be a professional baseball player, then then go to work. If you got the opportunity, man, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely am for this. I don't see it being, but I'm also the guy that's not afraid to think outside the box. So either, like, I don't think some ideas are crazy. They might not work, all right. But, but at least try them. Yeah, not yeah. trying things keeps you in the same rat race you've been in your entire life. That's a terrible place to be. You are a hundred percent.